Uh, what's up, dudes? Yeah. Is that cool? You guys thought I was gonna be. Uh, I have the kind of hair that no one ever expects anything out of you ever. Like if I wear a suit, no one's like, "Hey, Jeff looks sharp." They're like, "Hey, man, how did court go?" It went great. That's why I'm here tonight. So, but I'll tell you this, dude. I'm the kind of guy you invite me to your place. I'm bringing the party. Hell yeah. I'm bringing board games to your house. We're playing Taboo, baby. Everybody's playing. You can't sit out. It's going to be uneven teams. Shut that music off. i got to read the rules. It's the kind of guy I'm at a party. I show up. People get pumped. All right, Jeff brought Taboo. Yes. Then I moved to Los Angeles. And parties out here are pretty different. <laughs> Never saw a coke at a party until I moved here. But, I don't let the city change me. I bring board games to that party. People react kind of the same way. Alright, Jeff brought a flat surface to do coke off of. Uh, are we going to play or what? We never play. So now I just bring the top of the box. <laughs> yeah. No one's ever going to complain. Plus we can't play. Someone stole my sand timer, man. Uh, three minutes gone like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm a tall guy. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm uh, huge. I'm 6'7". Uh, yeah. That's not that funny. But uh, <laughs> I'm in what I call the freak of nature at ranch. This is where strangers on the street will point at you, and then they will guess your height to your face. Uh, like you're a walking carnival game that everybody just gets to play. As we're walking down the street, some guy, a hey, big guy, 6'7". Yeah, he nailed it. Yes! Sorry, I don't have prizes to give away. It's worth when they're wrong. Nobody wants to lose a carnival game, right? A big guy, what are you like, 6'5? No, I'm 6'7? Dude, there's no way you're 6'7. Yeah. Let's go, dude, back to back. Now I'm gonna stand back to back with a stranger while he tries to measure me with his body. <laughs> Alright, I'll go to your chest at oh about 5'8. Really? Tight, dude. Uh, how are we going to measure the rest of it? <laughs> no. It's rude to do that. You should not point at someone's attribute and guess. I mean, you wouldn't do that with overweight people. <laughs> hey, big guy. What are you, like 450? <laughs> Poor guy sitting there. Uh, I'm 398. Dude, there's no way you're under 400 pounds. Come here, dude. Let's go back to back. <laughs> Sit on my lap. Let me feel it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was wild, man. It's a wild place. You know, you know what I've had enough of out here? I've had enough of people to read. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's my big stance I'm oh, coming up here with. If you read, F you, dude. Everybody that reads is a jerk about it, right? They're always, they're always such dicks about it. They're like, oh, you don't read? What an idiot. It's like, I don't get mad at you for not doing stuff I like to do. Oh, you don't know the rules to cornhole? What an idiot. Everybody that reads, they have that saying, they're like, hey, don't judge a book by its cover. I judge all books by their covers. I'm like, that looks like a book? No thanks. <laughs> Trying to meet new people out here in LA and it's tough, you know? Uh, a lot of people out here are like intellectual types. They're like, Jeff, if you want to meet new people, you should join a book club, right? My family, they were from Florida, they were very religious. Jeff, if you want to meet new people, join a church. I don't want to do either one of those things. <laughs> But, if I had to do one, I'd more likely go to church. Because church is like a book club that's my speed. They just do one book forever. Uh, every week, they're like, we can't figure this book out. 
Let's try again next year. Come on, Jesus, say, yes, God, say it.